Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Amgit Community Brokers. My name is Mohammed. Um, in this video, I'm explaining to you about the inspection checklist for the newsstand. Now, if you operate a newsstand, uh, these are some of the checklists that the Department of Consumer Affairs follows. Um, obviously, if you uh, this does not apply to newsstands that are in the building, substations, or in park department concession. So make sure you know that. So let's get started. So obviously, you must have a valid Department of Consumer Affairs newsstand license. And obviously, you you know, no one can have a license for more than two newsstands at one time. So that's one part of it. You can't have five newsstands. Obviously, you can only have two. A newsstand cannot be left unused for two consecutive months or more. Which means that if you, let's say, if you have opened up a newsstand, you can't let it be used. It has to be active, basically. And DCA uh, combined license and complaint sign must be posted where all customers can see it. Basically, this is a sign that if a customer needs to make a complaint, the customers have to have uh, like visual to see it. It can't be hidden. It can't be. It can't be kept in a box. You have to show it. It has to be seen. So make sure you follow the require uh, these some of the guidelines. And the reason I'm explaining to you because a lot of people don't know about it. So basically, having to understand about it, me explaining to you, I hopefully it will help you guys out. Those of you that don't know. A refund policy must be posted where all customers can see it. Obviously, uh, you have to have a refund sign, and this is not only for newsstand. This is basically for every retail store, electronic store, uh, laundromat, a grocery store, convenience store. No matter what it is, if you're selling some type of items, make sure you have. If you're not giving refunds, make sure you write that no refunds. Items you can and cannot sell. A newsstand must sell newspaper. Must, as you can see, magazines and periodical. They have to have that. They have to sell that. Items sold at a newsstand except prepaid phone card, transit card, lottery cards, or tobacco product cannot cost ten dollars or more. Not including tax. It can't cost ten dollars or more. A newsstand may not sell apparel, including hats and scarves, jewelry, accessories, or handbags. You cannot sell that. A newsstand cannot sell food unless it is prepacked, which means they, they can only sell chips and candies. They can sell. They can't make food basically. Number nine, a newsstand cannot sell expired over-the-counter medication. I mean, that's self-explanatory, but people do sell expired medication. You'll be surprised. And if you do find any newsstand, you have medication that's expired, make sure you throw it away because if you give it to the guy that might be an inspector, you can get a summons for that. Newsstand cannot sell or display merchandise in public space around the newsstand. Items for sale on racks, shelves, tables, doors, crates, etc. cannot be on the sidewalk. You can't just put your stuff everywhere. It has to be inside the newsstand or close to it. Nothing can be attached to or hung from the exterior rear or roof of the newsstand other than the community advertising. So community advertising is basically an advertisement. You could do it, but that's the only thing you could do it. All sale must take place in front of the newsstand. And only authorized advertising from Simusa can be on outside the newsstand and the advertising cannot be covered. So if you do have an advertisement for Simusa, meaning that you, if you are using them, you cannot have any other advertisement or covering them or, or replacing them. So make sure you know that part. A newsstand cannot share electricity with anyone else, it has to be yours. A newsstand structure cannot be changed in any way except by Simusa. And uh, the last and not least, New York City Code, this one, if you sell new cigarettes from newsstand, you must have a valid DCA cigarette retail dealer license. And obviously you could go to the, these links over here and it will go forward with them. Uh, so basically I just wanted to show you a small checklist for the newsstand. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, Please comment, like, subscribe to my video. I'll be having more other educational, informational videos coming up. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.